I'm here at White Walton Airfield next to this aeroplane because it's an object that links mid 20th century transplant surgery with a post war attitude of arrogance and complacency. In his 1969 book, Spare Part Surgery, the British transplant surgeon Donald Longmore wrote about the modern miracle of heart transplants. In the first few pages, he compared himself with a pilot trying to repair the defective engine of a single-engined aircraft while it's halfway over the Atlantic. Just as the aeronaut had to preserve lift in the air, the surgeon had to maintain life in the patient. And just as the engineer needed to keep the fuel flowing in the plane, the surgeon had to keep the blood pumping in the patient. If either of those failed, there would be as Logmore said, a catastrophe. There is no question of reassembling the pieces and trying once again. That's the sentence he wrote. Longmore seems to have been thinking of himself here as a kind of Charles Lindbergh character, a solo pilot performing the near impossible task of flying over the Atlantic in the dark with a failing plane. This might be what it felt like in 1960s transplant surgery, but it was never the case that transplants were performed by a single genius. Particularly now, they involve a large group both inside the operating theatre and outside, including an immense network of clinical and non-clinical specialists. He could have chosen to depict the surgeon as part of a dance troupe, or a Formula One pit crew, or an able seaman de-rigging a schooner in a storm. He could have emphasised how transplants were team efforts, but instead he chose what any dusty need war era boy might, a lone heroic pilot, the Biggles of surgery. I have to say at this point that I've met a lot of transplant surgeons by now and, and not one has been this arrogant. They're all really lovely actually. In reality all surgeons recognise that they're part of a specialist team and far from emphasising their own technical brilliance. All of their attention, in my experience, all of their attention is on their patients and, and their patients' well-being. And it's because attention is now on people rather than parts that I think. Uh, I think the, the term spare parts is an historical one. No professional nowadays would talk about their patients as if they were a collection of parts. And no professional would look at an aircraft like this and think, my job is just like repairing that. Now, if Matt passes me the book, then you. In these 10 videos that we've just done, Matt Redman and I, I've tried to give a flavor of some of the stories in, in this book, which is my first book, Spare Parts, and it's published by Penguin today, which is the 26th of August, 2021. If you haven't seen all of the videos, have a look at the entire playlist, and if they tickle your fancy, please order the book.